One thing that we have not discussed in the Docker world just yet is how to deal with containers that crash for some given reason. So it's entirely possible that you and I might be running a server of some sort inside of a container, and maybe that server experiences some error that caused it to hang or crash. In this section, we're going to start taking a look at a couple of different ways that we can mitigate that behavior and figure out how to essentially restart a container when the software inside of it has an error of some sort. To get started, we're going to first add in a little bit of code to our index.js file to make sure that our server crashes entirely anytime someone visits our root route. So we're going to add in kind of a arbitrary forced crash to this thing and then figure out how to deal with it using Docker Compose. So to get started, inside my index.js file, I'm going to add in a third require statement here at the top. So I'm going to say const process is require process. And then to make sure that my server crashes anytime someone tries to access the root route, I'll find the root route handler right here. I'll add a new line inside the function body, and I'll say process.exit zero, like so. Now I'll talk about why we are passing in the zero right there in just a moment. But first, let's test this out and make sure that we can actually get our server to crash anytime that we try to visit this root route. So I'm going to flip on over to my terminal, and I'll run docker compose up. And since we just made a little change to the code inside one of our images, I'm going to add on the dash dash build flag to make sure that we attempt to rebuild that container. So I'll run that. We're going to rebuild that container, and then everything starts up. And I see my running Redis server, and I'm also listening on port 8081. But you and I know that we actually changed the listening port to 4001 inside of our Docker Compose file right here. All right, so I'm going to now open up my web browser, and I'm going to navigate to localhost colon 4001. Once I navigate over there, I'm going to see an error message like this appear on the screen. And if I flip back over to my terminal, you'll notice that it says right here, we exited with code zero. And so at this point, essentially our running container and the software inside of it has crashed. I now want you to try opening up a second tab and running Docker PS. When we do so, you'll notice that we are now down to just one running container, just the Redis container, and our node server is no longer running whatsoever. So clearly that, clearly that thing has crashed, and we might want to automatically restart it at some point in time. So let's take a quick pause right here and take a look at what our different options are in the next section. So quick break, and I'll see you in just a minute.